Hey, how's it going guys? This is Sam here at CustomPCReview.com here again with another video unboxing for you guys. And uh, I know somebody requested this uh, a couple days ago and um, they requested this product. It's a new product from the guys over at Razer. This is the Razer Tartarus uh, and it's a gaming keypad. So um, Razer had the Nostromo, uh, which was kind of like this. And uh, this is pretty much the update to uh, the Nostromo. Um, they also have a mechanical version, the Orb Weaver, uh, which I did do an unboxing uh, a little while back. So if you guys are interested, go check that out. But anyways, today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the, the Tartarus. And uh, you can see right here, you got 25 fully programmable keys, 8-way uh, thumb pad, improved ergonomic form factor, and uh, Synapse 2.0 enabled. Side of the box, uh, got a couple features there, infinite number of commands. Um, it's going to work with the Synapse, so you kind of just um, Synapse software, that is. So what you do is you pretty much just program it through the software, and um, obviously you get unlimited um, unlimited number of macros. Uh, you also get, um, yeah, whatever, the uh, improved uh, ergonomics. Uh, back, pretty much same thing. Got a couple more features. Uh, check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, let's move on. Got a couple more here. Um, looks like it is a backlit key keypad. Um, got 1000 hertz ultra pulling, um, comfort, only game profiles, directional keypad, programming keys, awesomeness. Got a picture of it and the actual box. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, open it up, take a look, and see what we get inside. So let's go ahead and open it up. And, um, it's in right here. We'll go ahead and put that to the side. All right, so I uh, get a couple pieces of documentation here as usual. We've got uh, congratulations to Snow turning back. You are in the Cult of Razor, all that awesomeness right here. Take a look if you guys are interested. Uh, got a quick user's guide right there. So. Tells you how to hook everything up, which is pretty much plugging a USB um, cable into the port. Also got a couple stickers right here. So that's that. And I uh, will also get the keypad itself. So let's go ahead and pull that out. Okay. All right, cool. So you can see here we get a braided cable. Uh, which is pretty cool because the uh, orb weaver, the mechanical one, didn't really have a braided cable. So usually we got the gold-plated uh, USB cable, um, incre increased resistance, corrosion, all that stuff. Um, nice thick cable, like it. Nice uh, braided one they got there. Um, otherwise, we got the actual unit itself. So this thing is should be adjustable. So you got one piece of adjustment right here doesn't look like there's anything to adjust this piece so if the camera will focus so it's this one doesn't adjust like the orb weaver does but uh, this thing can adjust out and in just like that um, pretty much your hands will just go on here you got control of the eight-way directional uh, pad and you also get a clicker right here as well a button right here again everything is completely um, customizable in terms of macros and uh, you do get eight profiles that you can quickly squ switch across so you could use like this button to switch um, macros or something program it as macros switch uh, I mean profiles um, other than that got nice big uh, rubber feet on the bottom so literally this thing will not move if you got some intense gameplay um, as far as the buttons here I actually like this design better than the orb weaver just because um, I have smaller hands and that one had like four rows of buttons. I couldn't really reach the top ones. So with this, um, looks like, you know, you got your normal buttons here and then, um, yeah, everything seems really within reach. So, um, looks like a decent design. Go ahead and put that through its paces. Um, why don't I actually go and plug this into a laptop so you guys can check out uh, what it looks like. Um, once it's installed so give me a sec guys all right guys so I went ahead and plugged this in uh, to a computer here and uh, we can take a look at the backlighting here it's actually quite even although this is these are using uh, membrane keys as you can see right there 
So um, it's using membrane keys, so definitely not the mechanical keys that uh, you'll see on the orb weaver. But um, even though you know it's using um, the membrane keys, it's actually quite bright in terms of backlighting here. Um, we can see that uh, it has a very nice glow and uh, definitely be able to see it you know if you like to game in the dark or anything like that so um, I think that is pretty much all I have to say about the Tartarus um, it's not super advanced or anything but um, yeah so um, I'll definitely be putting up a review on this in the next couple days so uh, definitely check back on uh, this uh, video and I'll have a link to that in the description box below uh, when the review is ready. It's going to be a written one. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, don't forget to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash custom PC review. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash custom PC review. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.